Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are playing the uh, brand new The Hood uh, scenario uh, pack. And I decided to uh, play Venom after a long time. I uh, actually haven't played Venom uh, uh, after uh, the hero pack for Venom came out. And I had some... Uh, uh, trouble thinking up a good deck for Venom for this uh, first play of the Hood scenario pack, so I decided to actually uh, borrow a deck list from uh, one of the cast uh, members of the Marvel Champions Monthly podcast. Uh, this deck is made by uh, Kennedy Hawk, so uh, let's quickly look through the deck list before we start. So here we are on uh, Marvel CDB and the uh, decklist is up, so uh, we are playing Venom, Flash Thompson and we are using a leadership deck. So first off we have all of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy allies in here, so we have Drax, then we have Gamora, we have Groot. Nick Fury is not a guardian, but still a good ally to have. Uh, then we have uh, Rocket Raccoon and Star Lord. So not talking a lot about those allies. Uh, let's get to the meat of the deck. So uh, we have the two Blaze of Glory. So uh, it, Hero action, each guardian character gets plus 1 to 4 and plus 2 attack this phase at the end of the phase, deal 1 damage to each guardian character. So we want to play a lot of guardian characters into play, uh, uh, or allies, and of course uh, Venom himself is a guardian, so he also gets the boost. Uh, we have make the calls to get those uh, defeated allies from our discard back to the table and uh, then uh, well the usual uh, resource cards but then we have also uh, target practice which are really powerful to boost up the allies and thin down our deck uh, team training will help us keep the allies on the, t on the table longer uh, we have Triskelion to boost our ally limit up by one. And uh, of course we have uh, uh, Knowware which uh, synergizes really well with um, Guardian allies and also increases our ally limit by one. And uh, gets us card draw when we play the Guardian allies. Uh, then uh, la laser blasters are cheap ways to boost the allies attack so they will hit harder and uh, that is basically the deck nothing really fancy i actually like this deck a lot uh, you play allies uh, keep the threat low with the allies then build up and uh, once you're ready, you can launch a hell of a ton of damage with the allies and Venom all together uh, with the Blaze of Glory. So, really looking forward to testing this deck out. I haven't played it yet, so this is the first time playing this deck. So, all credit to Kennedy Hawk from the Marvel Champion Monthly Podcast. So, um, we are basically ready to start. The only thing we need to do is to finish up the setup, so the decks are shuffled, but we still need to uh, choose 7 modular encounter sets and set them aside, we have done that. I am using only the modular sets from the Hood uh, scenario pack. I am playing the moderate difficulty, so we remove number 1 and number 9, so we have uh, 2 to 8 uh, numbered modular sets there. Then we choose one of those sets at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. So, to help me out, um, I will use a big 8-sided uh, die to resolve it. So I'm re-rolling the 8s. So, let's see which modular set we get. So, they are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, let's see 
which one we shuffle. So we get number three, so we get uh, the state of emergency. So these get shuffled into the encounter deck. And of course, uh, I am using the new uh, standard two uh, standard set that replaces the standard modular set. And uh, as we are playing on standard difficulty, I am not using the uh, expert two modular set this time, but probably in the future. And the uh, Flash Thompson's uh, obligation is already uh, shuffled in here. So we are basically ready to start. So the setup is done. Uh, just to, before we start, uh, I'll, I'll go over the full play special ability on uh, the hood. So special discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card does not belong to the hood encounter set, deal it to yourself as a face up counter card. And Then uh, when revealed, so when revealed, each player must resolve the hood's full ability yeah, in player order. So we do that now. So it is it belongs to the hood set, so it just gets discarded. And uh, we are basically ready to begin. So let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we already did the setup, and uh, of course, I forgot to mention we have uh, uh, this environment in place, so for me, double bow. It comes in the standard 2 uh, modular set, so when playing on standard mode, only permanent setup, the villain gets steady. Steady characters require two status cards of the same type to be stunned or if we would be playing on expert di um, difficulty, then we also would get this um, acceleration icon and also each enemy gets steady, so that is really hard. So, lucky we are only playing on standard difficulty. Let's see our hand. So, we get target practice multi gun, uh, savage attack, Nick Fury, Drax, and Heli Carrier. So immediately, tough choices. We definitely want to play the multi gun. We would prefer to play the heli carrier. So I'm actually thinking of discarding everything else to try to hit some double resources to have a chance to play either both or at least one of those. So we get energy uh, behind enemy lines, laser blaster, and boot. Well, um, I think. Uh, we'll use uh, energy laser blaster. Let's see. We we of course can use uh, Venom's own ability, Symbionic Bond, to generate one resource by taking a damage. So that might not be a bad idea to set up better. We'll actually do that. So we'll flip to uh, actually. Yeah, we have to. Uh, uh, I think, well, uh, I think we should have um, done the armed and ready during setup, so I'm just discarding those cards now to get the weapon upgrade. Yeah, uh, a long time I haven't played uh, Flash Thompson or Venom, so forgetting the, that that was a setup action. Well, we get another laser blaster, so yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, we'll flip to Venom. Uh, I'll play the Maldigan. I'll use uh, laser blaster and energy. Then... Um, let's see. I'm just exhausting the laser blaster to deal two damage here. Venom will uh, hit. Actually, we'll thwart for one. And uh, I'll take one damage. Uh, use behind enemy lines and root. No, um, I'll keep the 
a Groot in hand, but I'll use Laser Blaster and Behind Enemy Lines to play Heli Carrier. And that is it, so we ready up. We'll keep Groot in hand. We'll draw up to 5. We get um, make the call, savage attack, a run and gun, blazing glory and Groot. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we'll add one threat to the main scheme. The hood attacks, I take it with Venom. Won't be defending this time, so one plus one. Uh, if the villain is attacking, this attack gains overkill. Well, it did not matter. So. And this was a new card from the standard 2 set, so take 2 damage. We are down to 9 damage or health remaining. And I think I'm for now, because there still are no steady cards, I'm marking the steady at what are you doing, so we remember that we need to double status cards to stun or confuse okay and uh, we get an encounter card it is struggle for control give to the flash thompson player you may flip to alter ego choose exhaust flash thompson and take two damage discard this obligation or put one set aside copy of enraged symbiote into play engage with the first player if you cannot this card can search so i'm actually putting one of the Great symbiotes into play. Uh, this is because um, we don't want them all coming in into play uh, if we hit the shadows of the past. So I rather kill one of these at a time. And that is the villain phase. So let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, let's see. We really want to play Groot. I use the heli carrier, uh, make the call, and uh, place of glory. I use the multicon to defeat the red symbiote, and uh, Groot will hit for two damage here. And uh, I will play the Savage Attack. Uh, I'll use Run and Gun and they take one damage on Venom. So, um, actually, uh, let's back up. I. No, no, uh, Savage Attack. It's the energy resources. So, I was playing only energy resources. So, well, this attack gains overkill, but it only deals five damage. So, that is that. Then uh, Venom will. Uh, toward for one. We really don't want this to advance anytime soon, so let's just uh, take it slow. So we ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five. Uh, we get Venom's Pistol, Craspin Tendrils, Nowhere, Venom's Pistol, and Tamora. So set up turn, probably next turn. Uh, the Hood. Uh, activate so we'll go to the villain phase. One threat here. Uh, hood attacks, Groot will defend. So one plus one plus it gains overkill, so two damage here, but Groot heals two damage, so Groot stays at two. Encounter card is uh, upper hand. When reveal hero, the hood attacks, you resolve the hood's fall play ability. So fall play ability. It is from the hood set, so we just discard it. But uh, hood attacks, I'll take it with Venom. I won't defend this time. Uh, one plus two, so three damage. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, I think we are playing the Venom's pistol. Playing. Uh, 
actually, let's not play the Venom's Pistol. So I use Venom's Pistol times two, two, no, uh, times one. Grasping ten drills. Uh, we could have actually played the crest in 10 rules there, but we forgot, so it is what it is. I will play nowhere. Then I'll use the helicarrier. We'll keep Gamora in hand. I'll use the helicarrier to play the Venom Pistol. And I will. Um, Exhaust, uh, Venom's Pistol, attack for 3 damage, and use the Multigun to remove 2 threats. That is our turn, we are ready up. Uh, we'll draw back up to 5, so we keep Gamora. Uh, we get Run and Gun, make the call, block. Loaded, strength and Gamora. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. The hood attacks. Root will defend again. So one plus one is two. Root takes two but heals two. So Root is doing a lot of defend work here. Uh, we get an encounter card. It is uh, un unbridled ambition. So hinder two. When revealed, place two uh, threat per player here. Post interrupt when the villain phase begins, each player must resolve the hoods ball play ability in player order. So um, I think this needs to go as fast as possible. So hinder two, there is four threat there. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we have some. Nifty tricks up our sleeve. I think we don't need the locked and loaded at the moment. Uh, we could actually use the I'll use uh, strength and locked and loaded to play Gamora. So uh, first off after you, uh, a player plays a Guardian ally, Exos Nowhere, that player draws a card, we draw a card, Star Lord. Mm, this is getting interesting. I'll use Helicarrier and make the call to play Star Lord. We'll, uh, yeah, we can't ready this, but we get an extra counter card. I think that's fine. So, we are one uh, resource short from getting to play the run and gun this turn, but it is what it is. Um, uh, Star Lord and uh, I'll boost up Venom, they will uh, both part here, this gets removed. So Starlord takes one damage. Gamora will attack for two. That results us in uh, advancing to phase two. So when revealed, choose one set aside modular encounter set at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. And full play, discard the top two cards. So we have to discard more cards now. Let's uh, determine what it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So four, one, two, three, four. So we uh, get uh, Mr. Hyde set and it gets shuffled into the encounter deck. Okay. And Gamora took one, and when 
After Gamora attacks Oddwatch, discard cards from the top of the deck until you discard an event and at that event your hand so we discard cards so we spider sense uh, resource uh, support Raspin tendrils so not useful at the moment unfortunately it is what it is uh, I'll use the multi gun to Uh, we'll just, uh, we'll actually have to add health here, so I'm just hitting for 2 damage. So we'll just add 14 because the hood phase 2 has uh, 16 health. That is our uh, turn, we won't discard anything, be ready up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get project revert behind enemy lines, run and gone. Raskin Tendril is run and gone. Already up everything. So as you can see, this deck really can build up the allies and your play area. And I, for one, love when your play area is huge. That, that is why Black Widow is one of my favorites still. But yeah, let's go to the villain phase. I uh, will add one threat here. Uh, the hood attacks, Groot will defend, so one attack plus one is two, so two damage here and we heal two, so Groot is still holding on. We get an encounter card. So the first one is the hood's pistol and the second one is offshore inferno, which will add an acceleration token. We'll just put it over, over here. So, whenever we'll discard the lowest cost card you control, and it is the Venom's pistol. That is not nice. But it is what it is. So. And uh, the Hood's pistol attaches to the Hood. Uh, hero action spend a uh, mental and physical resource, discard this card, plasma attack and scheme, and. Uh, that is it. So I'm actually just putting it over here. And this uh, formidable foe hasn't come into play yet because we haven't uh, stunned or confused the villain at all yet. Okay. Uh, that is the uh, villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So uh, while doing a quick count on the uh, damage we are able to deal next uh, this turn, I think we have the lethal to defeat Hood, so might as well go for it. Uh, we will uh, actually we are a bit short. Yeah, uh, I, I thought I had uh, uh, damage dealing event, but it wasn't was the other one. Well. Um, Let's start by uh, attacking with Gamora. So Gamora hits for 2 damage. We'll discard cards until we hit an event. Uh, I think we missed that one. We get an extra count card. Got a quick shuffle to our deck. Uh, then. We'll play behind enemy lines. I'll use Helicarrier or one of the running guns. I will remove three from here. It's, uh, this gets uh, defeated. Then uh, Star Lord will actually thwart two. I will use Grasping Tendrils to play Project Rebirth and uh, we'll flip. I'll exhaust Project Rebirth, heal 3 uh, damage. I think we don't need the cars. Yeah, so I'm healing for 3 and I'm exhausting to heal for 4, so 7 plus 5, so we're at full health again. Uh, 
and that is our turn. Well, before we flip, we actually use the multi gun to do two damage here. So we don't forget. We'll keep the running gun in hand for next turn. We'll ready up. Uh, actually, we won't. Uh, we only have one uh, weapon upgrade in play at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hoping to get some uh, allies or events. Uh, well, spider sense, triskelion, target practice, and pistol, run and gun, and make call. And we don't have any allies in the discard at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, we uh, are ready up. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, the hood schemes for two plus two is four, so five. So we advance. When we will choose one set aside modular encounter set and random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. Place one accelerator token in the main scheme. So an acceleration token waiting here. And Again, using the dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, we re-roll 8, so 1, we get the Brothers Grimm, and we shuffle them into the encounter deck. And this starts at 2, threshold is 8, and uh, then uh, when revealed, each player must resolve the Hood's whole play ability in play order for each player who was not dealt at least one phase done encounter card. This way, place two threat here. So uh, now we have to reveal two. And we get. Let's see. Discard the top two cards of the encounter red deck. Deal the first card. Discard it this way. That does not belong to the Hood. So. Uh, this is the first one, this is the second one, so this Shadows of the Past uh, luckily goes uh, uh, past us. So we get Citywide Crisis, which will add to the pile of counter cards we have to deal with next turn. Or actually... Oh yeah, um, I forgot that the Hood has plus one ward, but it didn't matter, we advanced either way. So we got one card. Now we have done the uh, scheming, so we still have to resolve these two. So we get one encounter card here. So three, we get a disaster at the docks. When we will take three indirect damage. So I'll just take it on uh, Venom or, or Flash Thompson. Because I can just heal it off with the Project Rebirth. Citywide Crisis. Oh yeah, uh, let's not forget to add acceleration token here and uh, threat here. So, citywide crisis when revealed, uh, resolve each when revealed ability on each side scheme in play. If no when revealed ability was resolved this way, place two threat on each scheme. So we take uh, another three indirect damage. So, I think. We'll just pile it on or no, we'll just why would we? So we'll just take it on uh, Venom. And lastly, hot pursuit when we reveal discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put that minion in the play case with you. And uh, let's see we get Madame Masque. So, Madame Maskew is a minion, one scheme, two attack, uh, criminal master of evil, guard, when revealed, resolve the hood's fall play ability, uh, when defeated, the defeating player must resolve the hood's fall play ability, so, okay, uh, let's uh, resolve the fall play ability, we get the first card, so Brothers Grimm, this gets discarded, so this is for next turn if we ever get there. And that is the villain phase, so uh, just double checking. Yeah, we have got to put the hot pursuit into play. And we get another 
acceleration token here and we red here but i think we have the means to defeat the good next turn so that was the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase so instead of healing i think i will be using project rebirth to a card i get team training it really doesn't matter, it's just fuel for my run and gun and paint the weapons. Pistol. So we'll flip. I'll use the heli carrier to play Venom's pistol. Then I will use Venom's pistol and attack with Venom. He'll uh, actually no. Back up. Uh, we'll uh, use root to hit for two damage here, and use the multi gun to deal two damage here. So this is defeated, but uh, when defeated, the defeating player must resolve the hood's fall play ability. So again, uh, we get the formula. This goes into the discard. But we are trying to defeat the hood this turn, so hopefully these don't matter. Uh, I'll play the target. Uh, practice doesn't do anything. Okay, get that. So I use the venomous pistol. I'll attack for three damage here. Then I'll play run and gun, I'll use target practice, team training and make the call. Be ready Venom and each weapon have. So we'll do this again, so Venom's pistol and Venom is free. And uh, multi-gun will deal two and well. Let's give the honors to Star Lord. So Star Lord defeats the Hood, and that is it. So that was actually a fun scenario. Um, I think I need to boost up the difficulty a bit, but still, um, we were getting into trouble uh, with all of these side schemes in play, and uh, we had like really many encounter cards coming next turn so uh, we were able to deal enough damage to defeat the hood in time but uh, venom and the guardians obviously are really good at uh, controlling the board building up and then a really hard hitting turn to finish off the scenario well um i think i will try another hero later on maybe try this on expert difficulty but for now thanks for watching and until next time